Hi! Join me as I show you my 20 favorite Stampin' Up! products that will be given away. Why my 20 favorite Stampin' Up! products? Why not 25, 30, or even 50? That would have been easy to do. It's because today, February 6, 2021, I'm celebrating my 20th anniversary of starting my own stamping business by becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 20 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So as I'm showing you my favorite 20 products, I realize you're going to hear a bit of my story and some history of Stampin' Up! 20 years! How in the world did I get old enough to do anything for 20 years? But here I am, 20 years later, with the best business decision I've ever made by becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and starting my own stamping business. So my journey as a card maker started with the heat tool. Well, to be more precise, actually it was the embossing powder. So let me give you the quick story of how that all started. When we're in Wichita, Kansas, a good friend of mine, she showed me a handmade card and, uh, and told me she was going to have a party for her sister-in-law, who was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So that's the first time I heard the name or even knew that people made their own greeting cards. And I thought, well, that's perfectly nice, but who in the world would spend half an hour or an hour making a card just so someone could throw it in the trash? Because that's what you do with store-bought cards, right? And, uh, and so I politely declined. And then that job ended and we came home and I get home and my mom says, you're going to a Stampin' Up! party. I said, well, no, I'm not. And she says, yes, you are. Well, if you know Master Gardener Mom, you do what Master Gardener Mom says. So I go to this party quite reluctantly and I sat there with my arms crossed. If not, you know, really, in my mind, they sure were. And, uh, and then she stamped some on a piece of paper and sprinkled on some embossing powder and the powder stuck to the image. I said, oh, she says, that's not the good part, the demonstrator says. And, uh, but she had me at the powder sticking to the paper. And then, yes, she heated it up with this and melted it, hooked. All right, so the gal who wanted nothing to do with it was suddenly hooked and in love with card making. And, you know, little did I know how much fun it was. And, uh, and as so many of my sweet stampers told me, it's their relaxation, it's their sanity, you know, it just brings them so much joy creating their own handmade cards. And I've always said that the card making is a double blessing. We love doing it. And so, like we said, our sanity, our relaxation, and, but then we give the cards away and we make somebody's day. So we get to enjoy it and then others get to enjoy it and feel special. Unlike a store-bought card, this one was made for them. You know, someone thought enough of you to make a card and send it to you or give it to you. That is special. And as so many people told me, they have every card I've ever sent them. You know, there's just something about the handmade cards. And so the start of this is the heat tool well, as you know, really, the embossing powder. And so my mom is the reason I became a card maker, but my husband is why I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. The heat tool is one of my favorite things that I'll be giving away this weekend as part of my 20th anniversary special. My 20th anniversary special is Saturday, February 6th and Sunday, February 7th, 2021, exclusive for my mailing list subscribers. They'll be getting a special discount on their orders placed with me February 6th and 7th. So if you aren't a subscriber yet, go to www.thestampersinsider.com to subscribe. All right, and so next thing I'm going to show you, my favorite things, one of my 20, are the Stampin' Up! ink pads. Oh my goodness, I just love the Stampin' Up! ink pads. And wow, have they changed over the 20 years. When I started, they were a flip pad. And so it was hinged and you opened it up. And so the lid was kind of in the way when you tried to ink up a larger stamp. And so then Stampin' Up! came up with their own design. And this is a second rendition, but love them. They got 30% bigger. The, the lid was out of your way. You didn't have to fight with that. But with the old pads that opened with a hinge, the advice was to turn them over to keep the ink to the top. Well, one of the things Stampin' Up! did was the ink pad, well, it slides out of the way, right? 
but then when it stores, it's already stored upside down, the ink pad, and so we were able to leave them like this. It's funny, for the longest time, it was just automatic to turn them over. And like I said, with 30% bigger, more of the stamps fit on there, but even better than those design changes are the pads. They went from the felt pads to these firm foam pads. Oh, did they ever change the experience. The coverage is amazing that you get, but they're also so much easier to use. With the old firm foam pads, you really, you were pounding on them. I was talking to a girlfriend one day. I said, are you hammering? She says, no, I'm stamping. It's like, oh my God goodness you know you couldn't quietly stamp in the night with those but these you can and a lot easier as we get older you know um we don't want to have to do work so hard and so now we don't with one of my 20 favorite stampin up products and if you haven't tried them you will love love them two ink pads will be part of my 20th anniversary giveaway next well if you've got ink pads you've got to have the refills the refills are wonderful so you can re-ink your pads to make them last longer and longer and longer. So you don't just buy a pad and you're done when it dries up. You can re-ink it. But with the re-inkers, we can do so much more than that. Did you know you can fill your Stampin' Write markers with them? You absolutely can. I'll have a link to a video showing you how to do that. Very easy. And then there are different techniques you can do with the ink refills. And uh, one of them that I really like to do too, not so much a technique, it just makes life easier because one of the things about the ink pads, you can press on it, right? So you're pressing the, the pad into the lid so you can get color, so you can watercolor. Well, you know, sometimes maybe, you know, you just don't have enough strength or whatever the reason, I'll just go ahead and take the ink refill of the same color and put it in there. And I figure if it drips on there, I'm re-inking the pad. It's all good. <laughs> when I started with Stampin' Up, we had watercolor brushes and I loved the look. I had never watercolored before and so I just taught myself and I'd have a glass of water and I'd dip my brush in there and then come over here and pick up ink. And that's when I started using the ink refills so I could do shading and get a variety of colors. So with that glass of water, it seemed like it was either always too wet or too dry. So it'd be, you know, I'd put it in there and, and come over here and it was too wet, trying to get rid of the water. And then I would wipe it on my, my jeans and then it felt like it was too dry. And, uh, but I still did it because I just loved the look, even though I didn't find it easy to control these. And then Stampin' Up! came out with the water painters. Oh, what a game changer, game changer. Get that watercolored look, but it's so easy to control. So you squeeze on this until water comes out. And then once it's damp, I don't squeeze anymore. I can then come in here and pick up my color. There we go, see the water and, and pick it up. But then I'm done. I don't have to squeeze anymore unless I want to uh, dilute down the ink refill. All right, and so love, love, love the water painters for that watercolor, well, not just a watercolor, look for watercoloring. And so the watercolor painters and two of the ink refills will be part of my 20th anniversary giveaway. Of course, Stampin' Up! Stamp Sets are one of my 20 favorite products. I mean, this is what it's all about. Everything else goes with it, right? And so, do you remember wood mount stamp sets? Now, it hasn't been that long since we've had wood mount stamp sets, but once upon a time, <laughs> The, the, the stamps came on one full sheet and you could pull them apart and so they came in either rectangles or squares and you had to trim them yourself. And I really like to go, do a good job. And what allowed me to do that were the craft and rubber scissors. They would cut through this rubber like butter. and uh, But it took time. So you'd get your order and you'd just put on a, a good show. <laughs> that evening and trim stamps and uh, but then after that they came you know still on a full sheet but they were already die cut for us oh boy we were so happy that was a nice change and then we went to what they called clear mount stamps and so still the same good red rubber and the foam just they were unmounted we needed to adhere them to, or, you know, let them cling to uh, the clear mount blocks, the acrylic blocks. And so that did a couple things. First of all, it saved money because we didn't have to keep buying the wood over and over. But then we could see 
not through the stamp, but around it. So we were able to get better placement. And uh, so it did that, but goodness. So it saved money because we weren't buying the stamps. We could see around them. And, uh, but the space that it saved, oh, how much space this took on my shelf compared to this. And I told you we moved around a lot. Well, I had a lot of wood mount stamp sets and they took a lot of room in the back of my husband's truck, but they were heavy too. And so boy, was I happy to have all these unmounted stamps. And so, and then the next thing that we got were the photopolymer. And so those are the clear rubber stamps. So now not only were they unmounted, which were highly desirable, but we could see through them. But as much as I loved both of those things, my favorite ugh, are the distinctive stamp sets. The distinctive stamp sets is a patent pending process Stampin' Up! has for creating stamps with amazing detail and shading. I mean, this is just remarkable. That's just in gray and you can see all the different shades of color. That's what you get when you stamp with them. Oh, love the distinctive. I mean, I'll see a stamp set and I'll know just like, even if it's not maybe quite my style, I have to have it because the details like that's got to be distinctive. I love the distinctive. And so the beautiful friendship. Well, this is one of my absolute favorite Stampin' Up! stamps sets anyway, because I do love pansies. Um, I grew up with a mom who's truly a master gardener. That's why I call her master gardener mom. <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know, I grew up with flowers all around. The house was filled with them and of course in the yard. And so I, I do love a lot of flowers and pansies. You know, that's my, my logo. And I, they're just so friendly and so cheerful flowers. But pink roses are my all time absolute favorite flower in that beautiful friendship. You know, we've got a beautiful rose and then just a beautiful stamp set that's distinctive. And the beautiful friendship will be part of my 20th anniversary giveaway special. If you're going to make greeting cards, you need cardstock. And Stampin' Up! cardstock is one of my 20 favorite products. It is a high quality cardstock in their beautiful exclusive colors. I had a group of scrapbookers who didn't do any stamping, but they knew good cardstock when they saw it and they insisted on stamping up cardstock. If you haven't tried it, you really want to do that. And one of the assortments of the color families will be part of my 20th anniversary giveaway. So you've got cardstock and then you have beautiful background papers. Designer series paper is one of my absolute 20 favorite products. Look at the beautiful artwork and they're double sided. And so they coordinate. Oh, just so beautiful. Look at these two together. So, so pretty. And they are not flimsy. Uh, I just love this. And you might find this a little bit amusing. When I first started stamping, I'd have all this, the designer series papers and, uh, but I felt like I was cheating if I used them because I thought, well, I didn't create that. You know what? I got over it. <laughs> These papers just make our cards beautiful. And actually I've made some cards with just the papers because they're so pretty. And uh, I, you just can't get over them. They are exclusive to stamp it up and with their own artwork. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And of course, this will be part of my 20th anniversary special giveaway. Stampin' Up! Punches absolutely made my list. They are great for every stamper. You know, for the beginner stamper, they're easy to use in low cost. And for the avid stamper, well, you just can't get enough of punches, especially once Stampin' Up! started having punches that coordinate with stamp sets. So here I've got some basic white cardstock and the gorgeous great pad. And I thought I'd give you a quick show you how nice the ink pads are. Look. You the coverage is amazing. You don't have to pound on it like I was saying. Just so easy to use and look at that. And what I love about these the most besides their, you know, the, the shapes are exclusive because they coordinate with their exclusive artwork, but I can stamp then punch it out. And that just makes life so easy. And the punches are great because you could sit there and just stamp a bunch and sit and, and watch TV and punch, punch, punch. You know, they're just really 
low key to use and sometimes there are designer series papers to coordinate with them so i could come right in here and punch that out oh my goodness you can make some handmade cards with punches quickly and easily and of course the dragonfly's punch will be part of my 20th anniversary special giveaway if you watch my card making tutorials you know that stampin dimensionals are my favorite accessory the one that you're not supposed to see but these foam adhesive dots add so much so with you know the punched images we're able to give our project some dimension but we can really give them dimension with these because they pop it up off of the paper and it's just amazing how this can make things so it's just amazing how it adds to the project just that so i press with my thumbnail and it makes that edge pop up and then we add that to our project and wow love 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 these and speaking of adhesives the dotto adhesive oh my goodness this is awesome stuff and Stampin' Up! used to carry it and and you know some things come and go but this is one of those that I just couldn't let go of I love it I use it for masking I just did a video that I can have a, I'll have a link under the under this video to show you how I used it for masking actually reverse masking but the same same idea for masking and uh, and sometimes I'm designing a card and you've got all these pieces you're trying to hold it together to see what you think for the design just go ahead and use your dotto temporary adhesive and look you put down the adhesive and things will stick well but when you're done with it you just rub it and they come right off love this so i'll have like i said i'll have a link under the video i found it on amazon where you could pick some up because they retired this a good while ago but i wasn't willing to let it go and then speaking of adhesives, let me bring this back. So when you aren't using a temporary adhesive, you're using a permanent one like the Stampin' Seal. I don't know if you've ever done this, but I've done it too many times. I put adhesive where I didn't mean to. You turn the piece of cardstock or paper over and later you go, what in the world was I thinking? And, uh, or, you know, it goes over too far. Well, Stampin' Up! used to carry another one of those used to, the adhesive remover. And a wonderful thing and so it takes a little bit of work but if you're saving a project you've already put time into or that beautiful piece of designer paper it will come up you can get it up with this and I'm still using the original one so it lasts a long time but if you never got one of those and you do silly things like I do I'll have a link there in the video for that because you can find that as well on Amazon this is the crafters tool kit tool kit glue and residue eraser and so all three of these products will be part of my 20th anniversary special giveaway the stamp and cut and emboss machine another one of my 20 favorites oh boy this just makes me so happy and uh, we can die cut and emboss with it and it takes so little space because look how it folds up to go on our shelf and so for this, um, it comes with several plates, but two of these cutting plates. And so what I'll do for my special, because most of my sweet stampers have it, I will give away two of the cutting plates for my 20th anniversary special. But while we've got it, uh, another favorite, well, our embossing folders and again in Stampin' Up's exclusive designs and I remember the first embossing folder I got it was called perfect polka dots and I just grabbed the closest piece of cardstock ran it through and it was so pretty okay you'll think I'm a nerd but I kissed it. it's like oh you're so pretty <laughs> and then embossing folders just kept getting better and I loved it when it came out with the six by six embossing folders because you know, if the, if this were the trees, I would have been stuck with the trees always in portrait. But with a six by six, let me show you, I can emboss trees in landscape or portrait. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Oh my goodness. And then they came out with the 3D folders that you get really deep images and then 
the latest edition were the smaller ones for the stamp and cut mini machine the mini stamp and cut i think it should be called the baby stamp and cut but very cool the you know the embossing just adds so much to our projects and you know we're just very tactile we like to touch and so you can all that texture to touch and then well of course dies look at the dies and so you have dies that will die cut an image like we just punch and then dies to give us lots of different detail too love oh my goodness the die cutting and embossing have added so much to our projects so we'll have the cutting plates and an embossing folder and dies as part of my 20th anniversary special giveaway here's an oldie but a goodie paper snips they've been around at least 15 years i know it's longer than that i don't know when they came out but love these you know there isn't always a punch or a die and sometimes you just really want that image cut out and the paper snips make that an easy task you have the, the nice pointy tip so you can get in where you need to easy to hold on to and you know they've always been 10 you know the price has never gone up as long as we've had them and boy if you don't have a small pair of scissors for that kind of detail cutting i highly recommend the paper snips which of course will be part of my 20th anniversary special giveaway stampin up ribbon is one of my favorite accessories i use a lot of ribbon i like tying pretty bows and putting them on my projects look at the elegance of the sheer gorgeous grape ribbon i had a customer who was very knowledgeable about ribbon and she was telling me how impressed she was with the quality of Stampin' Up! Ribbon. And I thought, well, that's good to know. I always thought it was nice, but I'm not an expert on ribbon. But boy, love, love, love it. And of course, the gorgeous grape sheer ribbon will be part of my 20th anniversary special giveaway. You saw one of the Stampin' Right markers when I was telling you you can refill them with an ink refill. And you saw the water painters. So two ways to color. And then there are the Stampin' Blends. These are alcohol markers in Stampin' Up's exclusive colors. And they come in combo packs of light and dark. So you can do some really amazing shading. Wow. These just simply make you look good. And another cool thing you do with them besides coloring an image... Uh, I just have I do like bling and so these little enamel dots were very colored for us during the 2022 in colors but sometimes you want a color that isn't available like this and then one of my favorites are the pearl basic jewels they're just so versatile uh, I tend I, I like cutesy I tend more towards elegant and for the elegant boy pearls they sure do it but what if I want a little bit of color? If I have, and I've got every color available in the Stampin' Blends, you can color them. Look at this. You can see some on there that were colored. They color very quickly and dry. And then I've got my own color coordinated. So I have pearls in the, you know, the natural pearl color, or I can make them however I want. And a combo set of Stampin' Blends and a package of Pearl Basic Jewels will be part of my 20th anniversary special giveaway. The blending brushes were just introduced in the new January through June 2021 Stampin' Up! mini catalog and quickly became one of my 20 favorites. Wow, so we have stamping sponges and sponge daubers, but these just blend beautifully. You, you get it inked up, and mine are all inked up because I'm using a project, and, and I used them on it. I have a link to that video, but you pick up your color, and it just blends in so beautifully on your paper. You know, that color, or you can blend with others. You know, we have the stamping sponges that we've used forever, and the sponge daubers, which are nice, but wow, these are special, and your fingers don't get all inky. <laughs> And they absolutely have to be part of my 20th anniversary special giveaway. Do you remember this? This is a Stampamajig stamp positioning tool that we had for a long time. So this is the imaging sheet. And the idea was this goes up into the corner. And then you take your ink pad, of course. And back with the dragonfly that inks up so easily. And you come up here in the corner and stamp. 
Okay, so now when you bring back your cardstock, place it on here, you, however you need to turn it, and bring back that handle, put it in the corner. So you're all set, right? Remove this, and then stamp. And it should go where you want it. And you know, for the most part, it did a pretty good job, um, but we're not perfect. If we moved at all, then things were off. And to be able to hit it twice in a row because you want it deeper wasn't terribly likely. But, you know, we used it. Glad to have it. <laughs> Until, oh my goodness, the stamp apparatus. It is a wonderful tool. It's a positioning tool. So let me show you how this works. And so it actually comes with two of these plates so you can stamp and be all set up and keep going and, and they come off and so you can turn it and have all these surfaces. Mm -mm -mm. And so you take your, your stamp. Well, actually you take your part. We'll just bring this piece back. And it comes with two very strong magnets which if you let them hit each other, they break. And I know this because it's happened more than once. <laughs> and this time you position it where you want it on, on the cardstock or paper. It's like, okay, it's exactly where I want it. Bring this over and look, it clings to that. Now it was inky because we just used it, but I'm all set up. Then you ink and stamp. And, and so you set it up in the same place if you want to do a bunch of them. Or just sometimes I want to do just one thing, but a greeting. Have you ever stamped and your greeting is off? So you can go ahead and set it up on here and have it perfect. Now there's something else I wanted to show you. Love this. There are times where I wanted the image to be really deep because I was stamping on colored cardstock and I was able to just do it over and over and over. And, uh, and sometimes you want to go off the edge for that seamless look. And that's where this comes in we have the grid paper. And so you put that on, and so when you stamp, because if I stamp on here and go off the edge, this is not a porous surface. Ink's gonna start smearing everywhere. So this will absorb the ink, and I can just come over here and, um, and go off the edge. That's a wonderful thing. So a lot of my stampers already have the Stamparatus. This isn't new. We've had it for a couple of years now. So what I'm going to do for my 20th anniversary special giveaway is give a pack of the small grid paper because you can always use this. Did you notice as I was showing the products with color how they coordinate? This makes me so happy and it makes crafting easy too. You know, I know it's going to coordinate if I'm using Highland Heather cardstock and the Highland Heather pad and I've got the blends and the gorgeous grape cardstock and ribbon. And so it makes it all very easy, but more important, it is very pleasing to the eye. Our projects look beautiful because the, the colors aren't clashing. They all work together. You know, and something else that makes me happy, of course, are my 20 years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And when you love what you do, and if for this long, it's something you want to share with everybody. If you've ever thought about becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, this is a great time. I signed up during celebration and you can too and join my team. And so I'll have a link under the video if you're all ready to, with that, to go ahead. It's like, yeah, I know that's what I want to do. I'll have a link to do that. Or you're always welcome to call or email me with any questions you have. Because boy, it has been a wonderful 20 years. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about my Stampin' Up! story and some history as I shared with you my 20 favorite Stampin' Up! products. Those products are listed below the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. And remember, my 20th anniversary special, well, it's for my subscribers only to my mailing list. So to join, go now to www.thestampersinsider.com to subscribe. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand-stamped smiles. Thanks for watching.